I am Maria Garcia de Florin. Phrases like this one that resonate with special force today, you live only once, it's necessary to be saint, is one of the phrases that Maximilian Kolbe, whom we also know as Saint 16,670, repeated. Maximilian was born in Poland in 1894. From a young age, he wanted to imitate the life of St. Francis of Assisi. During his studies in philosophy and theology at the Gregorian University of Rome, he created in 1917, at the suggestion of the rector Esteban Ugundi, the Militia of the Immaculate Conception, together with other of his companions. He was ordained as a Franciscan priest in 1918 and returned to Poland. He dedicated himself to Catholic journalism, founded the magazine The Night of the Immaculate Conception, which had a circulation of more than 60,000 copies. It was the largest publication in Poland. It dealt with Christian topics and news in general. He founded the city of the Immaculate, near Pokalanao, 40 kilometers from Warsaw. A few years later, in 1930, he extended his apostolate to Japan, where he founded a city in Nagasaki called the City or Garden of the Immaculate, where he edited a Marian magazine in Japanese. He returned to Poland and founded a radio station, Radio 3 Nipokalanao. Shortly after, World War II broke out and Poland was occupied by the Nazis. Father Kolbe was arrested by the Gestapo, the Nazi secret police, in February 1941 in Warsaw. Days later, on May 28, in the company of 320 other prisoners, he was transferred to the Auschwitz concentration camp, where he received the number 16,670. Father Kolbe entered Auschwitz as if, if it were a mission of faith. He told his companions that it was necessary to have compassion and to pray for the Nazis. In July of that year, 1941, three prisoners managed to escape. The Nazi officer ordered that 10 inmates be chosen at random and sentenced to death as retaliation. One of those elected, the Jewish sergeant, Kahonewiczki, began to cry and shout that he had a wife and children. In that moment, Father Kolbe offered to die in his place. The Nazis accepted. When a Nazi officer asked him why he did he do it? Kolbe replied, because I am a Catholic priest. He was putting into practice his phrase, you only live once, you must be a saint. He thus made it clear that any human being is our brother, that the love of Christ does not distinguish people. It is not exclusive. The love of Christ is inclusive. From his punishment cell with other nine, Father Kolbe sang songs to the Virgin Mary and prayed. After two weeks of dehydration and hunger, Father Kolbe and three other companions were still alive. On August 14, 1941, the Nazis gave them a lethal injection and cremated their bodies. He was 47 years old. This Franciscan priest, journalist, messenger of the good news of God through the Immaculate Conception, propagator of the daily prayer of the Rosary, is the patron saint of families in difficulty, of those who fight for life. Today, his cell is converted into a place of pilgrimage. His bravery, courage and sacrifice are recognized and paid tribute to in order to combat violence. Saint 16,670 is recognized by Jews and Catholics. He was canonized by his compatriot, the Polish Pope, John Paul II, in 1982 as an example of faith and dedication to others for the love of Christ. Why? Because with God, we always win.